Hi everyone, this week we're focusing on wrists, specifically making them stronger, um, trying to remove pain from some of the noble exercises we do, like push-ups, and really trying to work in on exercises and movements that mobilize and stabilize your wrist strength. So we're going to go through a few, hopefully you did these stretches and activations from Sunday. If you haven't done them today before you start watching this video, please go back, do those stretches and activations before you start this as a, to count as a warm-up. Number one, what you're going to need is going to be a resistance band if you've got one um, or maybe some form of towel if you can use that or you can get yourself a dumbbell if you've got one of those or if you haven't got a dumbbell, I'll take a tin of beans or whatever, something that we can use to, to work with, maybe two tins, go get two tins. So, first exercise we're going to do wrist extension which was in your activation but we're going to do it a bit differently this time. So, I'm going to come around to the side and... All we're going to do here is have our hands flat down on the mat, brace the core as always, and we're going to lean forward. We're going to do this as reps this time. I want your arms to be turned, elbows facing forwards, nice and tense through the arms, and we're going to do reps of 10 of a lean forward, really pushing that wrist joint to try and see what it's made of. Okay, so you'll do that as a set of 10. Exercise number two, we're going to do a push-up exercise, but instead of doing this in the normal hand, we're going to do it on our fists. So again, we're in the same position as the wrist extension, but this time we're placing our fists down, side on. I'm just going to do it on my knees in the demonstration, but if you do full push-ups normally, please do them as you normally do them. So we're going to be doing this on our wrists. Now the, the, the object here is to make sure your wrist stays in position. It should be moving or moving around, your fish should stay real still. This is a stabilizing exercise. So you drop down, elbows pointed towards the hips and push back up again. So your wrists are just moving as little as possible and pushing back through. There is still some movement, but we're trying to use it as a stabilizing movement. So nice and slow into your push up and back up. That'll be done in a set of 10 as well. Exercise number three. Now. I'm going to use the resistance bands for this one. You could you maybe use a dumbbell. I'll show you both examples. So I've just got my resistance band just down here. And all I'm going to do is pull tight. And I'm going to extend my wrist up and down. You might find this easier sat on a chair so you can get more resistance or maybe make your resistance band smaller. But the idea is my forearm is staying locked in place. So that's stabilizing. And my wrist is running through its furthest range of motion. So this is mobility on this exercise. And the resistance just adds extra resistance to work through. And just let it find as far as it can go and keep your forearm as straight as you can do it. How it looks with the dumbbell, we do the same thing. I'll show you from the side this time. Do the same thing. So I've got my forearm in position. I'm going to curl forward and curl back. Curl forward and curl back. So depending on which one you're doing, even if you've got your tip of beans, you'll still feel that as a pretty helpful for flexion and extension. So flexion here, extension here. Okay, I did that the wrong way around. Extension here, flexion here. And uh, the last one, we did this a few, so six weeks ago now, when we were looking at frog stand and crow stand. So for the frog stand, just to have a little play, you might not be able to do this, but I'm going to show you face on first. So. I want your elbows to be put in between your knees, so just touching the outside here, and your hands are down in the extension position. And all you're going to do, whether you can do a frog stand or not, is just lean forwards. And if you can lift your feet off the ground, do so. And see how long you can bounce that for. Try and do enough to accumulate 30 seconds. So even if you're not raising your feet off the ground, just go as far forward as you can go without falling over and come back. Maybe it might be more comfortable to raise one foot. I'll just show you from the side. So hands placed and extension, leaning all the way forward. If you just get to here, that's no problem. You can take one foot off and then maybe take a second foot off. But that's a hold to try and get 30 seconds for that exercise. I'll show you a recap now of those exercises. If they're too hard, please ask for slight variations or do what you can to make it work. It doesn't matter whether you don't have a resistance band or a dumbbell. 
Um, something with a bit of weight to it is absolutely fine. Give those a go. Please tell me how you get on. I'm <laughs> sorry.